So I decided it was worth looking at these graphs. It's actually pretty interesting. So here's the first one, uh, 5x fourth minus 27 over 3x squared plus 4. We said that the limit as x approaches infinity should be infinity, and the limit as x approaches negative infinity should be infinity. We can see that clearly from the graph. As the x goes out to the left, the x increases. That's limit as x approaches negative infinity equals infinity. As the graph goes out to the right, the, the values increase. So that's x approaches infinity, the limit is infinity. All right, so, so basically this is like an end behavior of up, up. Right, it goes up on both sides. That's what this is saying in terms of an end behavior. So the graph is kind of interesting looking. It sort of looks parabola-y, but except if you look at the point, the base, the vertex, it's sort of pointier than you would expect for a parabola. Um, but it, it's kind of interesting though because so let's see, you can zoom you know way way out on this thing and start to. Um, to, to really see how the limit as x approaches infinity really is infinity. As we go out to infinity on the x, we're really going to, you know, very high numbers. That's what we see no matter where we go. But as you zoom way out on it, the other thing that is notable is that it starts to look like a perfect parabola when you zoom way out on it. And that's actually meaningful because if you think of the x going to infinity as the x becomes a really large number, the the... 5x fourth over 3x squared dominates the expression. The negative 27 and the plus 4 start to become uh, negligible terms. So what you end up with is I could reduce the x fourth over the x squared and get just x squared and have 5 thirds x squared. This looks like the graph of 5 thirds x squared. It looks like a quadratic graph because in the limit, as x approaches infinity, it is quadratic. But when x is not infinity, I'm going the right way here. I don't know if I'm zooming in or out. <laughs> What's going on? What is going on here? Oh, that's, that's going out to the millions, okay. I'm going to go out this way. One of the things I love about Desmos is you can zoom the X and the Y independently very, very quickly. So that's really nice about this program. All right, so we can see when we zoom in that um, it doesn't really quite look like a parabola because we don't expect a parabola to be that pointy. But as we zoom out, it looks exactly like a parabola because that's what this limit behavior is all about. All right, so now the next one, we see 3x squared over 2x plus 7. So that, and oh, and we said that the limit as x approaches infinity should be infinity. Limit as x approaches negative infinity should be negative infinity. So what does that look like? Well, it looks like this. Right, so here's that graph. So we can see that as the x becomes goes in the positive direction, the limit as x approaches positive infinity is positive infinity. It just means the end behavior is up to the right. This one, limit as x approaches negative infinity, the graph approaches negative infinity. It just means the graph is going down to the left. It's really just all about end behavior, these limits as in, at infinity. So, but a really interesting thing happens with this one, because if we zoom way out on this one. I don't know if I'm zooming in or out. I don't know why that's a problem for me today. So see the line that appears, that straight line across there? So that's called a slant asymptote. Now, sometimes we do slant asymptotes in uh, pre-calc. I know last year people's pre-calc was a little bit interrupted, um, but so you can do a thing called a slant asymptote. Just look it up, it's pretty interesting. Um, but the other way that you can think of it, and this is what a slant asymptote really is, the degree of the numerator is one more than the degree of the denominator. That basically means that as the x approaches infinity, either positive or negative infinity, the plus seven becomes negligible, and this whole thing behaves just like three x over two. So the graph, as you go out to infinity, behaves like the line that go, has a y-intercept of 0 and a slope of 3 over 2. All right, that's what that approaches. But if we're in here, we're not near infinity, we see that it, it doesn't look like a line at all, right? I mean, that, that doesn't look like a line. That looks like a weird curve. But in, in the limit as x approaches positive or negative infinity, we start to see that linear behavior happen, that slant asymptote. All right, and then the next one was uh, x cubed minus 27 over 3x plus 5. So here's that. It's pretty weird looking, um, but we predicted that the limit as x approaches infinity would be infinity, and the limit as x approaches negative infinity would be infinity. And uh, that is, in fact, what we see, because this graph goes up on both sides. x goes to negative infinity, y goes to infinity. x goes to positive infinity, y goes to infinity. All right, but then, like, it's such a cool graph, right? It's so weird looking. But then if you zoom way out on it once again, zoom way out on it, and it starts to look like a nice parabola again. Why is it looking like a nice parabola again? Because if you look at the leading terms, which are going to dominate for large values of x, x cubed over x is going to be x squared. So this is the parabola one-third x squared. 
And that's what the limiting behavior is as X and Y, as X approaches positive infinity and negative infinity. So as I zoom way out on this X axis, I start to see something that just looks like a parabola. Of course, it's got that vertical asymptote through the middle, so that's what sort of monkeys up the works. And nothing against monkeys, I like monkeys, but um, they do make my graphs hard to see. <laughs> All right, next up, we're going to talk about an important homework assignment uh, that um, has to do with what's going to be on the evaluation that we're going to have coming up.